Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Hello. You are not safe. Whoever you are, wherever you are. No, 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 no. This isn't right. How do I impose to you the gravity of the... I'm sorry. My brain isn't what it wants. Situation. Yes. How does one... You really don't know what kind of person you are until you're kneeling in a stream of your own piss in a broom closet with... A gun at the ready. Apparently, I'm the kind of person who enjoy being alive. The things I've seen. The things I've done. If anyone is watching this, you need to know. They are coming for you. They are watching. And they will kill you. Your nightmares hold no boundaries as long as they exist. My name is Karen Sullivan, and I am nothing but a ghost. I am so, so tired of these fucking aliens. Come on, come on! <laughs> Did you see that? I did cannot you? believe he did it. Too much. I mean, I can, I can. I've seen the video like five times. Five, six. I've seen it a lot, but still, oh my god. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. At a, did you remember the part? I, I can't. You gotta go. Can you take over? Phew. All right. Well then, for those of you just tuning in, the voice you were hearing was our radio technician, Karen Sullivan. Mm, mm. Former technician. Former. <laughs> That's right. Former technician. In an odd attempt to send a distress call to his home planet, he um he released the hounds, so to speak, and, well, one suicide note later. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the show must go on. I am Grigori. I am Kuru. And this is Act Natural, the galaxy's number one podcast experience. We are stationed above our favorite little planet, Earth. And for those of you who are just tuning in, we would like for you to meet our new radio technician. Only she doesn't know she has the job yet. Really? You didn't have to use real confetti. This is audio. Who's supposed to clean this up now? I don't know. You're late, Mitch. I know, Riley. I'm plugging in. You seem chipper. Let me guess, you're gonna want me to talk about the nightmares hold no boundaries prick, aren't you? It's a great story. It's the same old shit. Seriously, are you not tired? Am I not human? <laughs> Fine, but I'd kneel in a stream of my own piss before giving that man any more airtime. And we're on in three, two, one. Aaron Sullivan. He is, was, a professor of philosophy at the University of Lunas, California, who, surprising all of his colleagues, decided to take a rifle to his wife's head and tie his seven-year-old son in a sack and throw him in the river, where he then drowned. He disappeared until today, having left a cryptic note, I couldn't stop them. The world just wants to know why a man like yada yada yada. <sighs> Nutbag. Plain and simple. I say, good riddance. I hope he screwed up the suicide and got eaten alive. Now, let's stop giving this guy... Turn around. Oh my god, please. No, no, just go, go over that way. Uh, I can't give you... 
you will shut your mouth and turn around immediately. Or the moment your kid walks in here, I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking head. Okay. Uh, uh, going. I'm going. Keep moving. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? Get on your knees. Do it. <gasps> Good, good. I thought you were going to put up uh, a fight. I'm ahead of schedule. My son's in the other room. Oh, shh. Jessica, we don't have to do that. I'm sure he's enjoying his time at soccer oh. practice. <laughs> oh. Not now. Not now. <laughs> so, uh, you got any nicknames? Do you prefer Jesse or is Jessica fine? Um... Never mind. <laughs> Welcome to Mitch's Niche. What can you give to scratch our itch? Oh, hi there. Um, I'm such a fan of the show, especially the most embarrassing moment of my life segment. Listen to that all the time. And... Welcome back to Mitch's Niche, the number one place to fill your voyeuristic needs. We're at everybody's favorite segment, and I hear our producer has Saul on the other end with a doozy. Hey, Saul, what do you have for us today? Hello, Mitch. I'm a huge fan of the show, and I'd just like to say I am so glad that you were able to fit me in. Ah, uh, shucks, Saul. I mean, I don't know what to say. But we would love to hear about... Um, I read your book, you know. Uh, my book? Well, that's something I've tried to forget. I actually found it to be rather insightful. Even get the story out of him, we'll get him off the air, Mitch. You know, all right, all writing right. Writing so young, especially. Now, Saul, buddy, I, I'm flattered, but if we don't cut to the chase here... I wouldn't do that here, if I were I... you, Mitch. Jessica here? She's got a gun to her head, and if I'm taken off the air for even a second, well, something might happen. Jesus fucking Christ. Mitch. Um, uh, Cut him off, now. Michelle. Um, um Riley, I, I don't... It's um, a fucking uh, bluff. I just want to talk, Mitch. All right, fine. Is, is that what you want? Say something. Say something! Why are you doing this? Good enough. You hear that? You hear that? Still alive. Now, if you don't want a bullet to end up in Jessica's fucking skull. Okay, okay, Saul. Okay. Let's talk. What the hell are you doing? Just shut up and call the cops. I have to keep him talking. What's your end game here? I already told you. We can talk. Just let her go. She and... has a name. Jessica. Let Jessica go, and we'll do all the talking you want. No, Mitch. You're going to sit and listen, and then maybe we'll see what happens. Knock yourself out. <clears throat> Sitting in the middle of the city is a picturesque block of little homes with little people and little jobs. A suburban paradise. The neighbors all know each other. Nobody is ever late. Clockwork. A beautiful piece of machinery, but one day, something is off. One of these people is late, missing, vanished, poof, into thin air. In fact, it's been a couple of days now, hasn't it? The other little people get anxious. They decide to investigate. What do they find? Someone has invaded their wonderland and left a blemish. One of these tiny people has been murdered. They found him, nude, covered in his own blood and feces, and worst of all, no eyelids, tied up in front of a mirror. Can you imagine? Um, Christ, yeah, I, I heard about this. It was all over the news. It's fucking awful. Fucking awful. Fucking awful. Awful. People like you always say that when shit hits the fan, but it's it's not how you feel. It's not how you live. It's a flickering light on your Facebook feed. And then you just scroll on by, because who really gives a fuck in the long run anyway? I mean, that's, that's hard. But... And I mean, this shit happens every 
fucking day. Tragedy strikes, then we mourn for a second, and then we just move on. I don't think you're giving people enough credit here. People have been given too much credit already. That's the issue. Did you even know the victim's name? Um, uh, no. Tanner Hewitt. He was an engineer, but still found time every Wednesday to help at his local homeless shelter. Wow, uh, nice guy. It's it's a shame. He was also a rapist. Uh. He begged for his life. But then again, who the fuck cares? You did that. Mitch, there's this nausea. At first, I thought that I was sick. I ignored it for a while. Years, even. But I came to know it as a sort of second chance. An opportunity. I could see horrors everywhere. You don't see what I see. The closest thing your brain can conjure to a response is fucking awful. I'm meant to show you this. (laughs) So you've, what, been chosen? Um... No, it's, it's a simple misunderstanding, Michelle. I had assumed that I was meant to rid the world of these monsters, but it turns out it's a monster's world. And yet... Uh, yet? What a beauty. Sent to spite the hags and the demons of the world. None of this sickness has affected her. She deserves more. Is that... Nothing matters, and I am the crux. I have nothing worth saying because nothing is happening. Stop. There is nothing in this world. What are we protecting? There is nothing worth creating because God is dead. Fuck, Riley. Look around, Mitch. Isn't what do you see? Your book? Nothing but chaos. Stop it. You once said... Please. If you are frightened, then just... Take a running start. It is just a fucking book. Well, I couldn't be more frightened, Mitch. You need to do something. Jessica, if if you can hear me, I, I am so plastic bags, sorry. Veins tied up in television sets. I'll Try to pull them away from anything. the tit, and they'll tear at the seams. God damn it. Fine, Mitch. Fine. I'll quit, I swear. Just do one thing. What do you want? A reason. Why shouldn't I blow my brains out right here? Just give me something. One fucking reason. Uh, I... Uh... Thank you, Mitch. No. No, 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 no! Oh my god! Man, man. What? That was fucked. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's been out all day. We're gonna have to take the stairs. No, it's, it's all right. All right. J- Jesus, Mitch. You can be a bastard, but... but... Riley, Riley, Riley. I, I wasn't talking to you. I... Y- yeah, it was fucked. Everything's fucked, okay? That's how it works. Where are you right now? You shouldn't... I'll manage. Everyone is looking for you. Uh, yeah, not so keen on that. Tell him I went for a walk. When are you gonna be back? I can't do that again. I- I can't. Mitch, don't do some- This was never gonna work out. Oh god. Mitch.
she's awake. Huh. I think she's awake. <clears throat> Can you hear me, Michelle? Michelle? God damn it. Hello? No? Uh, is this working? Um, let me see. Yeah, it's definitely working. It's, it's a problem on her end. Well, then, what's the issue? What's the issue, Michelle? Are you angry with us? Uh, no, that can't be it. Maybe she... Maybe she can't understand us. We're using the voice filters. We're doing everything we're supposed to be doing. Talk slower. Is she just dumb? I mean... May, wait, wait, wait. Maybe her brain cells were rattled a bit in transportation. Okay, hey. Oh. Uh-huh. You can hear us. Would you mind? Oh, look, I'm not a fucking idiot. Uh, splendid. Good. Not an idiot. Okay, sure. Could you do me a favor and use the door in front of you to exit the room? Pretty please? There is no door. What? No door. Just four walls and a ceiling. What do you mean? There has to be a... Kuru. Door? There is no door, and who the hell am I speaking to anyway? <laughs> Could you excuse us? Mm. Fantastic. Okay, whoever you are, you've had your laugh. Hey, you let me- You are about to experience Ugh. molecular reintegration. Wait, what? Try not to resist. Plug your nose. Molecular- And if you desire for them to join you, please don't lock your knees. Ten- Wait, what are you doing? Nine. Seriously? With the countdown? Really? We're gonna do this? Eight. Okay, listen to me. Forty-seven. Oh, you dick. Okay. I don't know what you're on right now, but I think that we're gonna need to- One. I did tell you to plug your nose, but we are- Mostly glad to see you have retained all of your appendages and even in the appropriate placements. Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm still falling. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Um, God, I, I knew going to sleep to Owl Creek Bridge would fuck me up, but I didn't think it would be that bad. Jesus. It's an occurrence on Owl Creek Bridge. Could you do me a favor and take a seat on the chair in front of you? And, no. uh... Uh, the fuck? What? Excuse me. Uh, take a seat. No, I'm just gonna lie here until I hit the ground, I think. I think that's probably a good option. <laughs> Ugh, fine. I just wanted you to be comfortable. Restrain. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't worry, Michi. It's just a safety precaution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is getting absurd, Kuru. Oh. Why don't you give Michelle and me a moment, huh? You should eat anyway. Look at yourself. You can't even hold your cup straight. It really has been a while since I visited my jungle friends. Oh, yes, it has. Did you know I've got a statue now? Okay, bye-bye. Uh, you have to come see it. Okay, I gotta go. Ha- have fun. Now, Michelle, where were we? Okay, okay, I'm going to need you to answer some questions. Could you state your name? Go to- <laughs> Oh, that's not your name. Manners, Mitch. Could you please state your name this time? You already- <laughs> Oh, no, that is not the right answer still. Look, I can do this all day. And I have, on occasion, done it all day. Honestly, I'd prefer it. But I am going to need that name. It's a formality, really. What is this? A job opportunity. <laughs> oh, Kuru. It seems like we've gotten our hands full with this one. She got some nice burns in there, wouldn't you say? I'm pretty sure her exact words were, You look like a melted sausage. But... Don't worry your pretty little toes at home. No matter how disgusting you feel, the human race is still listed in the Stargazer as the galaxy's 
third least attractive life form. Humans, they're <laughs> very disgusting. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's very important for the people at home to know. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you updated next time when we continue our regular programming for Act Natural. Until then. We are always watching. Okay, what's a sausage? Oh, I don't um, know that one. I believe it is a penis. Huh. Can, can we, do you eat it? Uh. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. I think I have seen some humans eat it.